Hey everyone, it's Austin Solomon, and today's episode, a little bit different. Uh, welcome to this week's episode of The Real. Uh, I'm just doing an impromptu episode, was feeling good, had a recent client success story. I thought I'd share the story about what happened, and it was just kind of a unique uh, scenario, and it worked out really well, so it's kind of pretty neat. So it's super cool to, to work with this buyer, and here's the story. So uh, worked with this buyer, they had to get into something pretty quick. Uh, the market is moving quick. They're looking like under a hundred thousand, and um, we scheduled a couple of showings, um, and we found a house that they really, really loved. And uh, we we got out of the house, and uh, it was close to the train tracks. And so there there happened to be someone uh, just just next door. There actually was a, another home for sale next door, but it wasn't really of interest to these buyers. Uh, but there was someone there, and and so we were just chatting with them. Uh, found out like how frequently the train goes by, et cetera. Uh, and then we found out that that person next door was actually the owner of this house. Um, and he informed us that that uh, the house actually has an accepted offer. And so uh, the buyers were just, you know, very distraught and we're like, oh, it has an accepted offer. Like no one, no one told us. So, um, and there was no, no worries. It happened. So, um, but then, so we we were just chatting with the uh, chatting with the homeowner, and he actually owned the home for sale next next door as well. It was his mom's house, um, and so they were selling both houses. Uh, one, you know, his house was like ninety five, and his mom's house I think was like ninety nine. Um, and so, uh, so we were just chatting with them, and then uh, because of that house that was. Uh, for sale next door uh, had an accepted offer the one they really they had their heart set on was sold then uh, I you know I suggested well let's go check out this one so we we went in there we took a look at it and it needed a lot more work but it was a bigger house and so um, and I was representing the the buyer in this this case and um, and so we you know we liked this this other house next door that was available the dated house um, but it it, it uh, for for the work that it needed, we weren't quite seeing the the price that was uh, that they were asking. Um, the house next door uh, that was less was much more up- updated, the one that has an accepted offer. But they still thought that this one uh, that was more dated at a hundred uh, could be a viable option. But how could we negotiate that house uh, at a price that would make sense for them to do the updates? Well, the strategy that we used. Uh, and that I suggested is, well, hey, let's offer on both houses. Let's give them full price on the house that's um, that you guys like, that's updated. So it was like 95. Let's give them a full price backup offer at 95. And then we'll also come in and we'll give an offer of, you know, much less on this other house. And what this is going to do is... It's going to show the sellers that, hey, we're willing to pay full price for your house, but because of the updates that this house needs, we're willing to pay this. Uh, and so we we submitted the full price backup offer on the house that already had the offer, and then we went in and submitted an offer much less, I think it was like 80, for the house next door that needed more work. Uh, and our thought was that, hey... Um, we know that they're not going to take, they don't really need a backup offer on this other house. Like we're really, our goal was to, was to purchase the house next door for a more affordable price. Um, and the strategy was, well, you know, basically like, let's show them, Hey, we're willing to pay full for the house next door, but because of the updates, here's what we're willing to pay for this. And it turned out to be a really good strategy. Uh, we did a little bit of countering back and forth, but they locked that house down. I think it was like 12 or 15 under the asking price. Um, and it was because of that strategy that we implemented. Um, it was just really, it was really unique and it was cool to be a part of and kind of suggest and see everything work out favorable, uh, for the buyers. So, uh, it was really cool. Um, and those are the types of stories that I love. And that's something that I would never like for me, um, I would never, uh, have known how to, how to do that, you know, when I first started out, but now, after being in the business and and getting creative for the clients, it's something that really makes it, it makes it enjoyable. And this wasn't like a super high end home, but it was super, it was super special to be a part of that and, and get these buyers a great, a great deal on a place. So uh, just a quick client success story. So I thought it was, I was thought it was good to share. Um, 
hopefully we can keep uh, making things happen for people and, and moving the business forward. So thanks so much, guys. Take care.